You can use the vCenter server management interface to view the installed patches, check for new patches and install them, and configure automatic checks for available patches. The services running in the appliance become unavailable during the installation of the patches. You must perform this procedure during a maintenance period. As a precaution in case of failure, you need to back up the vCenter server appliance. If vCenter server appliance is configured in a vCenter high availability cluster, you must remove the vCenter server high availability configuration and delete the passive and witness nodes. For more information, use the above YouTube card. I have already downloaded ISO patch files from my vmware.com and uploaded into the data store named DS1. Please use the above YouTube cards for more information. Today's lab session. vCenter IP address is 192.168.1.23 and I can access the appliance management interface using 192.168.1.23 with port number 5480. Welcome to Global Technology Options Knowledge Sharing Sessions. Let's join with the screencast. The existing vCenter version is 7.0 Update 3 and we are going to update 7.0 Update 3H. ISO image that you previously downloaded from my vmware.com. You must attach the ISO image to the DVD drive of the vCenter server appliance. I have already uploaded the ISO image to a data store and now we can mount it for the DVD drive of the appliance. Log in to the vCenter server management interface using the root user to access the vCenter server configuration settings. You can verify that the vCenter server is successfully deployed and running. Click Update and then click the Check Updates button. Now you can select a source. In this session, we will use a pre-downloaded ISO image. We can use Check CD-ROM to scan the ISO image that you attached to the DVD drive of the appliance. In the Available Updates panel, you can view the details about the available patches in the source that you selected. Now you can run a pre-check of an update. This will verify that it is compatible with your current deployment. If the pre-check is completed successfully, we can start the staging process. During the process of staging, the vCenter server management interface validates that a patch is a VMware patch, that the staging area has enough free space, and that the patches are not altered. Then click Install and accept the End User License Agreement. If you like you can join the VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program. The final step reminds you that you need to back up the vCenter server appliance before installation starts.
After the installation completes, click close. The appliance will reboot if required. In the Summary tab, you can see the changed update status of the vCenter server appliance. Now vCenter server appliance running on an updated patch version. You can verify the version and build numbers. Let's meet with another session next time. Watch, like, and subscribe to my channel and Facebook page for more exciting sessions.